been trying to do this since May when I joined the Amistas. Um, I've been very shy to do this and I feel scared to walk in to say what I'm about to say because I feel just go ahead. Okay. You're talking to me, just look at me, that's fine. Okay, I do not believe certain mindset, certain life appearance in me has to put me through. But I don't know, there's something about me that just doesn't want to believe it. And I just feel I'm a child of God. I grew up from a Muslim and a Christian from Igbo, Yoruba, so it was quite an issue. So to the extent even if I speak my mom's language, my dad would scream at me. And you married her knowing she's not from your tribe. So that's not the main thing. But I think my mom's had her four. So when I grew up, I asked her one day, why do you have four and a half fingers? Was it an accident? She said no. And she had issues with the marine, wherever. And in those days, they would have to cut off a part of the body, bury the side, blah, blah, blah. So I said, okay. So why growing up, I started having some dreams, attacks, and all. She would take me to churches. They kept telling her to pray, pray, pray. I've been back in this. But I think for the past three years, it's been intense that I lose every man that comes my way. You lose every man that comes your yes, way? It's not because they don't love me. Well, all, what about you lose them? Do they die? Do they no, leave you? They just leave me. They just leave you. Yes, and so when they leave you, what do they say? They start having financial issues. They start having financial issues. In, when I met them, like the one I dated, I was supposed to get married. Yeah. We even proposed in a very big church. I had to leave that church because I just couldn't continue. I was a worker then. So, because it was only the pastor of the church that even planned the whole proposal. I nearly did that. He lost everything. Okay. To his cars, to everything. And I lost another one two weeks ago. And I really feel like taking my life right now. I'm this person that would. I'm a single mom. So, the one you lost two weeks ago, he also became poor. Ah, it's even, it's even worse. Okay. It was that. He still called me yesterday. That I hope you are praying. He still cares. And I'm so lucky. I need so, so, the question is this. This is a question. So, do you tell them that the reason why you're losing it is because of me? Do you tell no. them that? You don't tell they them just that? just end up finding out. You go out. I was an actress. I was supposed to act in a major movie and a lot of things happened. The guy ran away. So, he, this guy, let's say his name is Kelvin. Before you met him, how do you know he was doing well financially? This one that broke up two weeks ago. One when I met him. Financially? Is that... Went through a big birthday party for me last year. So, is that the reason why you think he was doing well financially? His machines just... The four of his machines put him in the... What? The what? Four of his machines. He just bought in a in day. day. Yes. Okay. And he spent over a million naira, and he's still not working till now. Okay. He has sold all of his generators, no money. He tried to give me money to come to church. He tried to borrow. Okay. Okay. The truth is that could there be a spiritual indication of this? It's possible. It could be something really spiritual. So because we know that the reality of curses, demons are all there. But the thought is that if it's spiritual, it's the easiest to deal with because demons are very, are very obedient. But the more difficult one is when it's a mindset. So it can be spiritual, it can be a mindset. But the last one is when it's a combination of what that's the worst. Because as soon as you deal with the spiritual, then the mindset is there. Then the mindset will attract the spiritual again. Because once you think in a certain way, you can attract evil spirits. And that's what the Bible says, give no place to the devil. When it says give no place, it doesn't matter about your physical space. It says in your mind, if you think in a certain way, you are attractive with spirit. This is the first thing I'm going to help you do. So this is a very simple problem. Say to me, say this, say this is a very simple problem. It's a very simple problem. You don't even sound as if you believe it. I'm sorry. Just like, I almost lost my son last month. Because Did you see how powerful the mindset is on her? Because now she's becoming hopeless exactly the way Satan wants us to be so she can destroy her. Every time you become hopeless, you are just at the junction so Satan wants you to be so that he can destroy you. What is the solution for you? That's the thing. You can see now? What's the solution? I'm going to show you hopelessness. When you get to a point of hopelessness, you don't see the end. You don't see the solution again. Stand up. Close your eyes. What's your name? Onyechi. Onyechi. Let's talk about your marriage day. Your marriage day. What are you going to wear? Tell me what your marriage is. Tell me what your traditional marriage will be like. Where will he hold? Lagos or where? Sir? Where will your traditional marriage hold? Lagos or where? Lagos. Lagos. What hall, where, where, what hall are you going to use? I'm 
like to do it. Huh? Here on the island. Here on the island. What will you be wearing? Will you be wearing, you know, Yoruba clothes or Igbo clothes? What will you be wearing? South, 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 east, southwest? To wear both to represent both the Yoruba and the Igbo. What will it look like? What colors will you be wearing? Blue. Blue. Hallelujah. That's great. You'll be wearing blue. What will you be wearing? Will you be wearing blue or something else? Yeah. You'll be wearing blue too. Fantastic. What does it look like? Because since you know it, what does it look like? Is it tall? Is it dark? Is it hands? Tell me what is height. Is it taller than you? Is it shorter than you? Taller than me. It's taller than you. Very tall or just a little bit more? A bit more. A bit more. Is it fairer or darker than you? Darker. It's darker than you. Fantastic. Is it poor or is it broke? None of your broke. It's not broke. It's not poor. Is it okay financially? It's okay financially. Oh, wow. That's really good. So what solution do you want? Oh, I just want to at least be happy, get married and... Did you see something? The moment she was in that depressive state, what do you want? I don't know. The moment I shifted her focus to possibilities, what do you want? She came up with something. Your emotional state determines what you think about. So when you're in a bad emotional state, some of you feel as if, I don't know what to do. You know what to do, but your state is bad. So your white wedding, where's your white wedding holding? Is he? What, what church are you holding your white wedding? Here. Wow. Who's your best lady? What is her name? Gift. Gift. So, do you see yourself going down and she's holding that for you? Well, what was she telling you a night before as you were just gisting as she's wearing clothes? You're finally getting married. What? You're finally getting married. Why do you feel happy and sad? I just feel a bit free. Can I feel free? You just feel a bit free? I feel light. You feel light? Why do you feel light? I've never even prayed for you. The reason why you feel light is this. Because up till now, only the thought of negativity and darkness has filled your mind. And those thoughts are heavy. That's why you feel depressed. But as I speak to you right now, I'm bringing the word of God in terms of a conversation. And it's bringing you light and illumination. You're like, oh, this is possible. And you're feeling light right now. Let me tell you what you need to do. Say with me, say, God loves me. God loves me. Look at me, look at me. I want to look, say, God loves me. God loves me. Before I was born, he planned for my marriage. He planned for my because marriage. he's a good God. Because he's a good God. And so therefore, and so therefore I have absolute confidence. I have absolute confidence that my husband, that my husband is available. Is available. He's ready. He's ready. And finally, and finally my, marriage my marriage has become a testimony. Become a testimony. Thank you, Jesus. So the second thing is that you say something makes them poor. Let's deal with that. Say, I am blessed. You, you, you struggle. Why? I'm not. I'm just... The reason why is that, you, let me tell you something. All of you here, I want to be honest with you. Accept this that you are blessed. See, there's no challenge I've not gone through. I've not gone through. I have borrowed suits to preach. I was so broke. Someone brought me suits, someone brought me shoes. Different people, oh. But even though I wore it, I declare, I am blessed. And that's why I always say, we walk by faith, not by sight. You know the problem with you? What does my walk by faith and not by sight? Because of sight means by all the things that have happened. So all the things that have happened are negative. So you said, I'm not blessed. But that's not faith. Walking by faith says that I am blessed, not because I feel it, I can touch it, but because God's word said so. Did God say you are blessed? I can show you a scripture. Determine chapter 28 says, you shall be blessed and plenteous in good things. So you need to accept it that I am blessed. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. Did you see the change? Say it again. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. Say one more time. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. Say with energy. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. That's it.